Hello, my name's Jay Riddick. Um, I'm a professional farrier. I've been doing this for about seven years now. I went to Kentucky Horseshoeing School. Um, I've apprenticed. I apprenticed for about a year and a half before I went to school. Went to school for nine months, came back, and uh, and was working with a guy that I apprenticed for for a couple years, and then I went out on my own. I've been out on my own for, I'll be working on three years this August. We do uh, anywhere between five and 15 horses a day. The 15 horse days are the worst, uh, but it's the best job in the world. schedule. I get to meet a lot of really wonderful people, work on really cool animals. You never live the same day twice in this profession. It's very exciting. See some cool places, cover a lot of ground. So everyday shoeing, you always try to get it as close to certification quality as you can because that's what determines your, your value, your, your, um, your value to the horse. It gives the clients a, a level to grade you at, um, but it's everyday shoeing. Not every horse is built um, to be able to receive a really nice shoeing. Some of them, you just get them, get them done, make sure that they're sound when they walk up and when they leave, and you do the best that you can and try to do no harm. That's rule number one. Horses stay sound in spite of us, not because of us, the majority of the time. Everyday shoeing and competition slash certification. Um, so the importance in certifications and competitions is to get around a group of your peers and do the absolute best job that you can based on a set of guidelines that they give you there, certification guides that you're handed out to see if you can um, create a particular level job based off of this criteria. And it's just something that everybody is, is judged off of. Shoeing has a lot of benefits. Uh, it's, it's a pretty common question. It's a little bit more work to hot shoe one, but you get a better shoe foot purchase. Shoe foot purchase is the contact between the foot and the shoe. Um, when you're cold shoeing, if you can't hot shoe one, there are little ripples that you get in the rasp just because it's, it's done by hand. Uh, the majority of us can get it pretty close, but when you hot shoe one, it actually melts out any high spots. Um, and you flatten the shoe the best that you can, but if there are any little ripples, it just evens things out nicely. Uh, machine shoes, and also shoes that you hand pull clips on, the clip is on the inside of the web of the shoe, and hot shoe and helps burn that clip in to where it prevents rotation. Um, also, it burns any localized bacteria, helps keep the foot healthy, uh, it hardens the foot, I believe. It helps pull some moisture out of the foot. A lot of good benefits. It also helps you cheat. It makes a black line on the back of the shoe to tell you where the foot is in the shoe. It helps you adjust your fit. It helps you know where to grind the extra steel off to so they don't come up and catch it. A lot of benefits. 